Welcome to the map Anorian for a 2v2 video commentary for BFME 1 on page 2.22. It's been a long time since the last 2v2 video. It's been only 1v1s lately and hopefully you guys will also enjoy the 2v2 action in a great and phenomenal matchup in a good against evil situation too. We have two Gondors versus two Isengards. On Anorian, the classical map, the OG map, the most played 2v2 map in BFME 1. Warchan is going to be used, the Uruks are faster and they will deal heavy damage. In the meantime, this player going for a blacksmith farm opening, this player going for a blacksmith barracks opening with a furnace Uruk pit opening and only a Uruk pit opening which is a mistake in my opinion. The furnace coming up super delete, you should not be doing this. And the Uruks are hungry. The Alvin Wood was placed super late by the way, you want to use it the second you can, you want to use it actually at the beginning of the game almost, because each second matters. That's a very good advantage from Gondor over Isengard, that you have the Elven Wood, which Isengard can't cover, because he needs to start with Warchan and two power points on top of that, which also means he can't choose the industry. So you can at least use two lands for each player before Isengard will be giving the chance to cover your land, you know what I'm saying? Warchant offensively, I like that one. And this Lumber Mill will be eventually taken down. More soldiers. And the Hobbit also doing a good job. What you want to do here? You want to put Hobbit in between the soldiers so you can level up faster. And this Aizen will need to bring more and more Uruks to deal with the situation. Looks like meat spec on the menu, boys. He's trying to surround him. His eco not looking too hot though because of the barracks opening. And this player going for the steeple. The first knight of the Gondor is already on his way. This farm also has been saved because the land was used defensively. It's good for Aizen. He will be able to cover, recover from this lumber mill. And what you want to do now with Aizen is you want to creep offensively. You want to send your Uruks to this location. Use Warchant to take this creep away from the Gondor players. That's very important because normally when you find yourself in a situation like this, then you know that one Gondor will go for the steeple and the other Gondor player will make eventually heroes like Boromir and Faramir and they will most likely use this creep to get some levels. But I don't think that's gonna be the case because Gondor with the knights is creeping this. That's a mistake too from this Gondor player. You wanna send the first knight always to destroy the Lumber Mills. You want to leave this creep because you can always take this creep. Either you want to destroy the Lumber Mills from your opponent or you want to take this creep down, but not this creep, you know? So this farm will be eventually taken down, but the Knights of Condor might be there just in time. The second battalion is coming, but you see that's the tempo. The tempo problem here for the Gondor team because they are not really putting pressure. They are using every source they got for defense and that's not good, you know? And also Isengard players, Isengard players, because there are two of them, were not able to creep this war player either. It's also gonna be taken by the Gondor player. Not the best sort of creeping, but they are level two. It should be just working fine. Good looking base for Aizen. He has a Uruk pit level two. He will get to recruit some pikemen now. And he was for a long time busy dealing with the soldier spam. This Isengard's eco, also not looking too bad. Might go for Sharku, but he's gonna choose to go for Lourdes. Lourdes is good. It's a better late game hero investment. Warchan is gonna be used for a defensive purpose, but Gondor is just gonna avoid fighting this. No problemo. There are no pikemen, so not a real big threat to the Knights of Gondor. And this is going to be, of course, giving lots of, you know, tools to this Gondor player at the bottom right side. He has already Boromir on the field. Boromir will be easily able to creep the troll there at the bottom side of the map. It's gonna bring him to more than level four. Again, that will unlock the leadership. And will make it tough for this Lourdes to get some levels. Lourdes has to creep this as soon as possible. Because you need your Lourdes to be level 3. It will unlock the carnage, which will make him quite dangerous against heroes like Boromir. Boromir, just like in the films, if he gets crippled and Lourdes has carnage, he will die, you know? You can't even knock down the guy, because the carnage will give him immunity to knockbacks. They are glowing, shining bright like a diamond. Boromir can solo creep this. He's hitting like an absolute truck. Look at the DPS, boys. Level 5, getting closer to level 7 for the Forgondor ability. We need lots of pikemen up on the field. 
this Gondor has also went for the Faramir. The brothers of Gondor of the White City are recruited now, ready to fight for Denethor, the daddy of these two. So now when you creep them, I doubt you have, to, you, you have what it takes to kill them, because Boro will use the Horn of Gondor most likely, just like in the films, boys. Can he get away? Just use Horn. That comes to Vorchant. The Berserker can't contribute, but that comes to Alvin Wood, which will deny and nullify the effect of the Vorchant. Now, Boromir will not take that much damage. Heal is going to be used, and he's reaching level 7 as he's hitting, 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 hitting like an absolute truck. And his brother, unlike in the films, is now ready to back him off. The Lord's going to be chunked from Faramir, revenging his brother from the films, you know. But Lourdes is speed, speedy Gonzalez with double Lourdes, double trouble, double cripple. So you can lock them down in place for 50 seconds in total when you cripple them back to back. You know what I'm saying? It's almost a minute, boys. It's like crazy. The eco from the Gondors are, is untouched. Some player had to go for the Vork Riders, but he didn't go do that. Towering up. Just to be prepared for a potential base rush, which might happen very, very soon. Go back. Again, Boromir got crippled. Lourdes barely is able to survive. And now he's crippled. That's the gonna player. He healed though. Nope. Heal is on cooldown. Now it, now it might be the time for him to die. But another land will be pleased. This should use the cripple, by the way. There comes the long awaited Horn of Gondor. But Lourdes won't be finishing. Dude, I'm telling you, the brother is putting the difference here. On the land, you know, the pikemen will not have their leadership bonuses. And Vorchan will, would usually make them deal 50% more damage, which would be enough. And you can't chase him either. Boromir is very fast. He's as fast as the Uruks. So he can't catch the Uruks, but Uruks can't catch him either, you know? This Lord is recovering, but because he was recruited so late, he is only level 1. And again, that doesn't make him to a threat at all. It's what you need to keep in mind. Okay, if you take a look into the money and power points, we have Jackass. I believe that's the Isengar player at the bottom right side. Yeah, bottom left side. He has Industry, Warchan, and almost one power point on top of that. It looks like he's saving up for Saruman because he has around about 3k in the bank, but not going for the Armory. So I'm assuming it's going to be a, a Saruman rush. If the Gunner player at the top right side. He has almost the money for Gandalf and also the power points to turn him into the Gandalf divide with the two power point action. Then we have also, hold on a second, this Gondor at the bottom right. He's going for a Gandalf rush. Also, he has the power point, so he has now all the three heroes. The arrives precisely when he means to. Never interrupt a Gandalf who's speaking. And Gandalf divide. We have double Gandalf. That's the power of Gondor. It's going to be super difficult. Luckily, we have double Lords. But it's difficult to pin them both and kill them both, you know? Because they have lack of damage leadership. Lords, if Lords would be level 5, it would be a whole different situation. Because it would make the army deal 60% more damage. But it, it, as it is right now, it's quite difficult. We have plenty of lanes on the field, as you can see and tell. These lanes are working like a freezing rain, like a terrain, in which your enemy has no leadership. But you, on top of that, have 35% increased armor. So land is one of the most powerful, you know, power points. Of the game he's pinging and saying go and crash his base we might see at some point of the game we might see four wizards double saruman against double gandalf it might happen this faramir is only level three though Make sure those new have their fight. armory and yeah i'm not, I'm not sure let's see watch and see what is about to happen? This army isn't really threatening. Trust me, that one, okay? This is not a very strong army. I don't think this army has the capability to kill Boromir, Paramir, and two Gandalfs on top of that. That won't happen. Now, what could happen is that one of the Gondor players will make uh, will capture the middle camp. That's a possibility. Boromir is leading. One does not simply walk into Mordor, but one can. Well, it's simply into Isengard. There comes the cripple on the wizard. Will he die though? Remember, there are two Lurzes that can cripple. Land. Can somebody cover the land? Nah, nah. Ooh. <laughs> 
and no land to cover that's a problem bottom is knocking down the wizard on the ground he can't move he's going to use the shield bubble but that will not make him survive but saruman has to run for his life bottom is hunting him hunting him one more laugh that is needed for Boromir to kill him but remember he's as fast as um Boromir it means if he just keeps running ooh, that's a beautiful and very important kill for the lords he gets he gets level five out of that and you can't believe how much of a power spike it is Saruman was barely able to survive the wizard there, are, there will be two dead wizards at the end of the day, but Saruman ain't one of them, okay? Both Gandalfs got demolished because of the overcommitment, and now the Gondor players have to invest lots of time and also money to revive these two heroes. Level 5 and level 6, it's gonna take you 30 seconds more time. The more levels you have, the more the punishment for losing your heroes, especially when it's like a tier 1 hero, like a god tier hero. And also Boromir just got killed. I believe this lords killed him with the cripple and uh, carnage combination. The knights can't really do much. They have backup. Uh, this lords has backup with the pikemen with the forge blades and heavy armor. Super tanky and hitting also quite hard. Um, he's actually having a talk. This worker is asking for a raise on his money because he's working day and night. You know what I mean? Poor guy. He's working Saturday, Sunday, Christmas, Easter. You know. There is also a worker who's scouting he's brave dude look he's taunting them too now that's what you're gonna get little bro <laughs> that's what you get for taunting them speechcraft has been used from this saruman isengard should not be underestimated either with double saruman double lourdes double cripple you know pretty strong faction too now gondor is switching over to the combos making the strongest possible combo with the tower guard ranger combination tower guards are pikemen but they are not very similar to the isengard pikemen they are actually quite beefy. They are also even tanky against fire arrows, unlike the pikemen of Isengard, you know? And they have also Boromir leadership. Boromir plus for Gondor from Boromir plus the armor leadership from Ganoff. That's also quite a bit. But Isengard will still out damage you with the Warchant Lords combination. And you have also the tankiness of the Warchant and also the armor leadership from Saruman. So he's pinging. But there is no threat really, because without siege weapons you can't break in. So what Eisen needs to do is to buy the middle camp, make some siege. It can be ballista, it can be a ram, and then break through the wall and go in, you know. And Gandalf has been revived, both of them. And also this player went for Faramir. This reminds me to the scene in the Return of the King, you know. Now Faramir was getting back to the castle, gone. Gandalf is riding out to help him, to save him against the Nazgûls. It just looked like this. Okay, boys. So, Boromir, Gandalf, and Faramir. With three combos, double Gandalf, double Fara. And also, Merry is... Uh, not Merry. Pippin is chilling there. Isengard has a huge army over here. Lord's level fun. That's a weak army, though. But that's a very strong army here. One, two, three, four combos. The thing is, if you... If you don't fight as soon as possible, the speechcraft can use can be used every two minutes to give them infinite levels up to level ten. So you get free experience every two minutes. Will they fight this though? Nobody has rain, and you don't need rain. You need land here. Both the Isengard players should always go for the double land, just to cover the Gondor land. That's very important. There comes the fireball, beautiful fireball, it's chunking. There comes the for Gondor. And no land will be used to cover this. That's what I'm talking about. When you have land, you always win the trade. Oh, the glow though. The glow though. Oh my god, the Brisa is coming from the other side. The Isengard is committing. It's a 2v1 situation. He's getting sandwiched a little bit. Now the Brista will be targeted by the Knights of Gondor. But the Isengard army is getting demolished from the Boromir damage leadership. And the Balista has been destroyed. That's going to buy you some time. There, there won't be a siege anytime soon. The Palantir will be used. It will make Lourdes run faster. But you can't ever catch up to this Gandalf. What you could do is go for a Boromir cripple. But he's not going to do this. Okay. And yeah. I mean, the army, he didn't lose any, any battalion really. They will respawn over time slowly but surely. They're also glowing very hard. 
This Eisen is rotating to the middle now. He can just capture this middle camp. And that's gonna be a long game, boys. And the thing is, no player is going for the settlement focus. This is a Lambert level 3 lumber mill, producing crazy amount of cash. Same also goes to this one. This is all about hit level 3, and this is all about hit level 2. So economical damage has not really been dealt too much to, to either player, right? And it's only army fighting, no harassment happening really. It looks like they are building an army just for the, for the late game situation, just for the all out fight. The one fight that can and will eventually determine the outcome of the game. If now plenty of combos, four combos, Ranger, Tower Guard. It's a very expensive combo because 15 and 20. So 35 command points have to, have to be invested into one of these combos. And as Gondor, you have only 200 command points, you know. No trebuchet. And no trebuchet yet, but it's gonna be changed. We will have trebuchet very, very soon. The middle camp will be captured by the yellow Eisen. There's an army hidden at the bottom side, but now the Gondors are committing. Now this Eisen is to rotate to help his ally, because there are too many knights and combos for one Eisengard to deal with. Saruman could eventually go for a steal, but he's gonna cancel the warm tongue. And now we have a commitment. We also gotta keep, in my, keep, keep an eye on the middle camp. Gandalf of his team behind. The, the knights are getting focused from both the sides, but the middle camp is gonna be the hard focus. Boom! What a juice! Now they've gone. Oh my god, be careful! Saruman! Saruman is dead, but in the meantime, the Ganov has been crippled. Boom! Ballista, boom! Dead! <laughs> Lord has been killed too. What is happening? Some clown fiesta is happening. Okay, hero focus, very important. You always want to. Oh, but we missed the beautiful juice coming from the Ganov the second. Ganov the second. Safarami has been killed. Um, now the combos, he stole them all by the way, oh my god, it's hard to focus on everything by the way, he stole them all, this Saruman over there, and also the middle camp was kind of saved, but all the structures got destroyed, now you want to destroy the trebuchet, they, they will give you lots of power points, beautiful fireball, always one shot, one hit, and the second uh, trebuchet also going to be destroyed, beautiful, 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 now the combos will be handled over once again to the owner, the Ballista might be taken down, only one hit required. There comes the Rohirrim special summon. Gondor calls for it and Rohan shall and will answer. But they are running it down a little bit into the pikemen. Their goal is to destroy the Ballista before the Ballista breaks in. That's very important. So Eisen should be giving his best to destroy uh, the defend this only one Ballista, which won't happen, really, you know. This Eisen has to rotate, he's way too sleepy. Way too sleepy. You don't want to give Gondor the chance to reach to the ultimate lead game, in which Gondor is very strong. You have plenty of summons from your spellbook with a Gandalf who might reach level 10 and go for a word of power play, you know. All of that might happen if you don't act fast. Stop thinking, start doing, you know. Siege and also the warp pit required for the, for the trebuchet. This army should not be underestimated power point wise after couple of crazy fights during the middle, in the middle area. We have Isengard, this one at the top. He's sitting on two power points. He went for the Devastation too. That's a mistake. We have Gondor at the top right. He has around about four power points. Gandalf is back in the business. Almost level six. And we have this Eisen. He has gotten the Freezing Rain. That's very good. But again, no land, which means Gondors are not really using this for their advantage. They are not spamming the land as much as they potentially could, you know? And then this Gondor player at the bottom right, he has 5 power points after the Rohirrim summon, Ganath the White, land, and the heal. One part of the wall broken, he's kind of poor. He needs to invest 2200 to repair the broken part of the wall. That's why you need always to break multiple parts of the wall. Um, this Ballista will be destroyed before, or? Nah, it won't. Nice. Level 7. Now you can fight this. Warchan is going to be used. Lourdes has to be getting closer to give leadership. There comes the Rain. Um, he needs to step away from the land, that's very important, because now you are as weak as they are, we have both no leadership, so he's leaving the land, actually not, he's going back into the land, leaving the land, he's not really sure about what he's supposed to do, but this Eisen is not doing anything over there, you know, just wake up bro, it's like, come on now, you know, is it trying to make a breakfast or, and then finally he's moving. I think it's like an offline player who's not gonna move until he's ready to move, you know? Until he's, he was just waiting for Saruman to be revived. And before this, before Saruman is gonna join, he won't move. 
but that's a big uh, de um, deficit of a um, uh, single player because you're not against AI here, you're against a player, you know? So one part, almost two parts broken. Lots of trebuchet for the ultimate defensive situation. Gondor is very good at turtling, you know, at kind of camping into the in inside the own castle. That's one of the strengths of the Gondor faction. We have plenty of combos, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six combos. Gandalf level almost eight. Gandalf almost level six. And more and more traps are coming. What you could do is scout, and they are beautiful. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Finally destroying these farms. They're giving so much money. Level 3 all over the place. Level Gandalf is going to use the Lightning Sword. And still catch them. But they will be able to get away. No problem. But my lord, there is no such force. Are you sure about that? Okay, they also this, this player want to go for a siege. So what, what could happen in this situation... Um, you don't need to go for the same target, right? If your ally trying to destroy the part of the wall here, you could use this moment, momentum to just rotate to the broken part of this wall and go inside the jeans. But it looks like they want to come into the middle. That's a huge army which should not be underestimated. This army is lacking damage leadership though. Keep that in mind. That's why he needs, he needs war chant for this. Okay, Eisen needs to fight this. There comes the war chant. You can go for a trample. The Star Guard combination is not acting like, acting like a pikeman, so you can trample into them. Again, a lane, that's a problematic situation. He's gonna be finally choosing to cover. The Saruman is gonna get away. Hard focus on him. And there comes the Eagle special summon going on the on the on the Lords. One of the Eagles going down. Kill the second Eagle as soon as possible. The second Eagle is dead. Almost level 8, he could heal, that's a beautiful situation. Now the Eisner is rotating, the Vorks are committing to destroy the trebuchet during all this time into, into the middle area. Gandalf is still alive, one of them is being level 6, one of them is being level 8. The, the trebuchet will survive, one of them at least. The Rohirrim will feed. Um, and if this dude gets level 8, that's going to be actually a huge power spike for the Eisengard faction. Then he has like some sort of a heal, the healing is not that... It's great it doesn't heal you back to full hp but it might give you um you know the time and the possibility to go for a cheesy play you know for like a insane play situation you know what i'm saying i mean this guy's has lots of money it means going for the devastation was a huge mistake the only reason why you would do this is when you are lacking money that's a level eight combo boys level five combo boys He's going in, boys. Nine power points for Aizen. Three power points for this Gondor. He's only seven power points away from the EOD situation. Oh my god. The defense, though. The defense, though. Just use Fireball. You can one-shot them. I don't want to miss this fight, though. It's a huge army. If is Boromir level 8, let me take a look into this. No, that's a level 3 Boromir. But there has to be another Boromir here. There, is, there he is. No. The... I don't know where the second borrow is. Too many trebuchet inside, dude. We need ballista without like what what this player plays doing right now is just feeding feeding uh, because there is no need to stay next to the wall if you have no entrance possibility. Look at this, you know. That, that is the bottom here. He's almost level eight. This can unlock the glory of Gondor, which kind of will fix the money problem from this Gondor player. Oof, the damage, dude. Holy. Okay. The reason why he's able to do all of that is because his eco was not hurt at all. He has, like, from the start until a minute ago, he had this level 3 farms under his control outside, getting a bunch of money. Protect the ballista. Protect the ballista. Cripple the Gandalf. Oh, he's not gonna cancel it. The warm tongue will miss the target. In the meantime, we have a fight in the middle. Um, okay, that's a strong army, man. Level 9 combos, level 5 combos. You have seen what they did to the eagles. They just literally one-shotted the eagles before in the middle. Saruman is level 8, has now the will of Saruman. That's pretty good, too. Oh, he stole some of them, actually. It's good. Two parts of the wall broken. This part of the wall is also broken. And... 
you know what they're lacking of and what's the main differential between the Isengard team and the Gondor team is the teamwork like these people are kind of hugging together right they are kind of trying to play together he's sending his heroes to this location he's sending trebuchet to this location but it looks like these people are trying to play a 1v1 on their side but they are not realizing it's not a 1v1 it's a 2v2 you know teamwork is very important so when you gather all your strength into one place with all these combos and double saruman double lords and you go into one base it will be close to impossible to defend this this glowing is no joke the work riders with their leader Sharko is going inside the jeans fireball will be used this Eisen is going back now this Gondor has the chance to rotate into his allies base what a beautiful shot it is <laughs> you just need to ignore them you need to micro your work riders to destroy the trebuchet exclusively it's gonna destroy the on top of the wall that's good Rohirrim summon to destroy the ballista and now this Eisen could rotate and Gondor has to respect this. Trampling into a lot. Gandalf is coming here. We have double Gandalf to save the day. There is only one Lord. So what can the one Lord do against two Gandalfs? And I, I, don't, I don't think he crippled anyone really. You know, that's the issue. I think he died before crippling anyone. Yeah, he died. Also, Sharku died. Level 7. And this player is using, staying on the land from his opponent. That's a mistake too, obviously. In which you have no leadership. The Great Company will be summoned, but instantly stolen by this wizard. It, it's also a mistake. There is no need for you to steal this at all. Like, what can these rangers do from the summon this late into the game? When you have this force, just one tap them. You want to save this, which is, which have, which, you know, this ability has like a huge cooldown. You want to save it for something more important. Saruman was able to survive. The two parts broken, but he can just repair it. He has the money for it. Like, the money... Is kicking in. I mean, Isengards are super rich. They have nearly 30,000 in the bank. This, Isen this player is command points kept. He can't recruit more units, really. He has six power points for this player. He needs only four more power points for the EOD. The Vorks are doing a good job. And he should be getting lots of power points from this fight. Eagles available and Rohirrim summon available too. Rain available has been used. Rain is active as we are talking. You can see they are not glowing anymore. Here comes the land. Lords level 9 though. Keep that in mind. There comes the Eagle Special Summon. Again, they are on the Lords. Again, look this. <laughs> one tap. One shot. Even if he somehow managed to kill the Lords there, this kind of should not, realistically speaking, get the chance to blast this. Because when they just right click on the Gandalf, before he gets into the range to be able to wizard blast the enemy army, this level 10 combo with the Warchan should legit one shot him. You know? At some point of the game, you can't really approach a big army anymore with your Gandalf all alone. Because they have just too much DPS. It's, they have level 10, level 6, level 6. It's a very strong army. And also Saruman will just fireball you whenever you are trying to do this. Beautiful fireball, but you should always go for the Palista instead. Uh, for the Trebuchet instead. He should get the Trebuchet do down. We need to take a look into the power points. Uh, we have the Cloud Break for the Gondor at the top right side. It's a good one. 18 power points for Aizen and almost 8 power points for Gondor. So Aizen at the bottom left and this Gondor at the bottom right have almost the same amount of power points and they are both 2 power points away from getting to their ultimate summons. Okay, this Isengard player has finally went for the rain, but I believe he used it at the same time like his ally did. So you, again, the communication, the team play is lacking here. Obviously, they don't know each other, these people. 18 power points though. Balrog can be game winning move. Keep that in mind. What you want to do with Aizen is to send this combo back to a place like this and forget about him for like a minute. And then when you check him again, he will become full health again. And he's paying attention to that. That's good. He has three very healthy combos. That's also good. Getting to recruit more and more ballista from the middle camp and from the ca uh, castle. His command points kept though. Because he has all kind of units which I really like to see. Okay, the part of the wall will be broken. There are multiple parts of the wall broken. And Isengard is kind of afraid to force a fight which he shouldn't really be about, you know. I think he is so strong with this army, with this much leadership, with double warchant, he can even maintain the effect of the warchant for a very long duration. They're breaking more parts of the wall, not gonna add too much benefit to you. Oof, but he's getting chunked a little bit. There comes the warchant, just fight this. Rotate and fight. The works. 
Saruman is chunked. This Lord has to come closer to the army to give leadership. Level 9 Saruman here. Ballista. Let's take a look into the power point, shall we? Nine power points for Gondor getting very close. Gandalf is going to get crippled. Level 7 Gandalf can't play the game. We'll get one tapped. Ten power points though for this Gondor. Here's now the power points for the EOD. That's going to be a big EOD and big ball. get the save. Oh! <laughs> Son! Fly! Fly like a butterfly. Stitch like a bean. A demon against the undead army. The timing could not be better for the Gondor player because he got he gets to summon the um, the EOD just to counter the Balrog at the same time as killing the army. Killing all the stuff gave him like literally every possible power point. He killed everything. He killed heroes. He killed armies. Killed legit everything. The Balrog, I don't know what he's planning to do, but he will be able to destroy the barracks and the archer range. It means no more tower guards or rangers anytime soon. He will get to use the Brave Fire one more time. He will do it. But he didn't use the Ignite before, that's why he's not able to finish off this level 3 Blacksmiths. Now, the problem is, there is no follow-up from either side, but this player has actually some Knights of Gondor highly leveled, level 7, level 8. They should be able to destroy this middle camp without any problems. This Gandalf, by the way, was able to survive all of that. He's all about to hit level 9, he's gonna use the Lightning Sword to hit only one Ballista. And only Saruman got killed. It looks like Lourdes was able to survive that. That's pretty good. Level 5, Faramir, trying to show his quality. Getting into the melee range. But if he gets lava tapped here uh, from the pikeman a little bit, he should die. Just finish him off. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Faramir, not the greatest um, tank hero of the game. Super squishy. That's why you always want to keep your distance with him, you know? And use him as like a sportive hero when he should be ever on his horse. Gondor is rebuilding stuff. He luckily didn't lose any heroes. That's pretty important. So Boro, Farah, and Gandalf were both all three able to survive that. This Lord's level 2. There's Uruk just chilling behind. Industry has been used. Money for the Isengard player should not be a big problem though. I mean, his command points kept. The money will now start kicking in a lot. He again, once again, gathered a big army. What this player should be doing though, he should be definitely making a, another Uruk pit in, in the middle camp. Because I'm going to show you the money from this Aizen. He has 22,000 in the bank. So what, will have, what, happen, what has to be happening now is you just force fights and try to out sustain your opponent, opponent. That's something... Oh, the Eagles once again. Now the Lords has not that strong backup anymore. Cripple, cripple, cripple! Oh, the Lord will be getting killed this time. The Eagle number one is going down. But now that gives the chance to Gandalf to go ham. Inside the jeans. Land has been used to cover. There comes the Jews. Level 9, Gandalf the White, ladies and gentlemen. This Aizen is just observing all of that. Doesn't really contribute too much into the gameplay from this Aizen. Um, who has to deal with double Gandalf <laughs> by himself. He's just waiting there. I don't know why, what he's waiting for. Going for super slow. And I don't know why he's stubbornly going for this Gondor at the top right side. When there is like a Mordor beast Gondor at the bottom right side, you know. Just go for the same guy. Eagles are gone. All heroes down for Aizen. Uruk Pit working hard to produce this Uruks. Level 7... Saruman, use your abilities, bro. Just use it, you know? Like, you have two heroes. You want to just make sure that you are microing with them. But lots of warrants will be sent inside the beast. I like to see that. That's what you want to do. Just pressure the beast. Destroy this level 3 uh, resource buildings. That's the main reason why this player is still getting so much money. If you destroy this level 3 blacksmiths, he will turn poor. But Gandalf is getting big time closer to the army. Not army of the dead, but it's as strong as army of the dead. The war of power. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, just go for the work pit spam. Just spam work riders, and that's what you want to do. Go in over and over again. If you lose, it's okay because your opponent has already unlocked every power point. There is no such a thing as feeding anymore in the ultimate lead game when every power point from the spell book has been unlocked, you know? Okay. The Lords, a very long revive time, three minutes because he was level nine. Balrog. Gonna be available at the same time like UD from Gondor. In about a minute, 
But again, you see the ultimate Gondor power, you know? Gandalf, lots of power points. You want to act fast. This is a very exposed uh, Saruman. What is he doing, actually? Oh my god. Ooh! I didn't see the explosive mine, but he will pay for it, for this with his life. And I don't know why this is going to play a heal there, by the way. Oh, he didn't heal. Four Veolingas. The land will be covered. Saruman is going to get chunked, but remember, he has the Will of Saruman. He can cover this. There comes the Gandalf commitment. He should have crippled him. But remember, the Lord is not there yet, if I'm not mistaken. The, the Lord is there, actually. Thank you, very follow Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it on the Twitch channel. Trampling into this Pikeman combo will guarantee our death in a second. But we have double Rohirrim special summon. He's pinging this and saying, use your Rohirrim to trample. There comes the Balrog and AOD once again at pretty much the same time. But now the Balrog has potentially the chance to finish off the castle, which is quite vulnerable. Charku doesn't really do too much by himself. I think Isengard made a mistake here. Again, using no ignite and summoning the Balrog before the enemy summons the AOD. Here you want to be patient, which is easier said than done, but you want to be patient. You have a winning fight over there. There is no chance this army will win against your army. So you force your opponent to use EOD to kill your army. Then once the EOD is gone, you summon your Balrog to finish off the castle, right? But what you, what you, end, up, what you end up doing right now... Ooh, level 10. What you end up doing is you basically give the EOD the chance to wipe your army first and then kill the Balrog after, you know? Don't ever do this, bro. And always use the Ignite with your Balrog. Without Ignite, your Balrog doesn't really deal too much damage. Ballista. I mean... The only logical explanation for me is that this player is the same player like this. And he's running from one PC to the other PC to also micro this army a little bit. Because this army... The, ooh, He's not gonna use it though. Oh my god. Oh, he catch him too? Crippled him! He's pinging his ally so much, but his ally is not paying attention. 10 power, 11 power points for this Eisen at the top right. He's still 9 power points away from the Balrog. Um, Gondor player is very close to the AOD. So it's going to be double AOD against one Balrog only. It's quite difficult. This player has lots of money in the bank. But this player is not that rich. He can never repair all of these parts of the wall. He has one, two, three, four, five, six broken parts of the wall. And he can recover from this anytime soon. So the beast is a potential invade area, right? And that's what you can do here is you basically make five works each player. You have 10 battalions of works. You use war chant on all of them. Go inside, ignore everything and go for the structures. And you do this, do this over and over again until you basically win the game. Because you need to use your advantage. Your enemy has the power point advantage over you. He has more summons, but you have to equal advantage. So you have more sustain in your economy compared to your opponents, right? The summons have a really long cooldown too. Now, they, now he's summoning the eagles, but next time he needs to summon the eagles again in six minutes. Use fireball. Fireball maybe? Don't lose your Saruman like this, please. The eagle is going to go down. Just fireball this eagle. Ah, you could have saved him. Yeah, I was going to kill him. Your stuff is broken. In the meantime, the Vorks dealt, dealt good amount of damage. Yeah, is getting chunked a little bit over here. But he shouldn't need to use the War of... Ah, he used the War of Power at some point. But I did miss it, actually. My bad. Sorry, guys. In the meantime, the Knights of Condor are invading middle camp from the Aizen. Dealing heavy damage to the economy. Not really. Economy is super strong. But going for the structural damage, always good. The strongest level 3 production buildings will, you know, slow down the progressing quite a bit. And Gondor is stalling. Keeping the heroes alive. Or, you know, double Boromir, double Faramir, double Trouble. All heroes have to be revived. Also Lourdes and Sharku have to be revived. Ballista action for 5 of them. The frustrating thing is you need to deal with not two, but four eagles. You need to deal with not two, but four, uh, you know, not one, but two Rohirrim summons. With two EODs at some point. There comes the... Yeah, 
Gondor has now also EOD, this player, at the top right side. The Vorks are doing a good job here, by the way. Beautiful blasting from the wizard Gandalf, the white. Balrog. I don't want to go too far, but I'm pretty certain <laughs> that the reason why this player has 14 power points is not because he was killing stuff, but it's more like he was losing stuff. That's, why, that's how the evil factions got designed, right? When you lose your hero like Lourdes or Saruman, you also will get power points in exchange. And I, I, I can tell you, oof, the EOD, not the best EOD, but what are you killing that really? When you can kill the Lords eventually, Saruman, okay. But that's the second EOD, you know? This player still needs six power points in total to get his own Balrog. Lord is using the speedy Gonzalez mode with the Palantir, but EOD can still outrun you, bro. You can't get away from them, but they're scary creatures. Oh, he got the moves. Can't touch this. Dude, 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 dude. You will remember this day in which you almost caught Captain Lord Sparrow. <laughs> okay, the middle camp will be taken down now by the Knights of Gondor. Level 9 Gandalf. We have almost two level 10 Gandalfs too. What a game, dude. What a game. You see, the matchmaking is trying to make it balanced. And that's why Jackass, this player at the bottom side, is actually getting a teammate that is kind of new to the game or in a, in a lower rank. And also, oh, the Balrog. You need to use Ignite. Oof, man. It ain't more like this. If you use Ignite, you also get tankier, you know? You get... They deal half the damage to you if you use Ignite. If you don't use Ignite, you get one tapped. Oof, the chunking. Whip him. Whip him. Oh my god, he whipped the tower guards. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, the AOD here again. Oh man. <laughs> This is frustrating, bro. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. He has almost 15 power points, though. Let, guys, okay, I want you to pause the video. Just pause it as we are talking. And let me know in the comment section down below. Until the end of this game, will the Blue Eisen get to collect enough power points for his Balrog? Okay? Just don't keep watching. First comment down below. Uh, not the best choice. Oof, the eagles. The eagles are coming. Ooh, chakalaka. Fireball. Beautiful fireball, actually. Okay, how many power points? You got 16 now. Okay. Getting closer, but two wizards against one. Take this. Take this. <laughs> uh. I'm a servant of the secret fire. The wielder of the flame of Anor. Okay, the middle camp has been finally taken down. 18 power points. Maybe we'll get it up. Get it, boys. Maybe we'll get it. Oof, man. You need to deal with double Boro, double Farah, double Gandalf, knights, combos. So many summons and all of that all alone. Fireball. Beautiful chunking. Oof. Guys, here's Ward of Power. I, I want to see this actually. I want to see this. We need a thumbnail for this video. So I think the Ward of Power might be the best possible thumbnail for this video. So we need to focus on him. We don't want to miss the chance. Land, cover. Land. Trampling. He's saying cover this. He will cover this. Ooh, the Oh my god. Oh my god. He could he didn't even get the chance to use it. Oh. But we got the white wizard. It has to be good for something. Ooh, son. Nostra Cress, or you shall not pass. Oof, this kind of also level 10. Oh my god. <laughs> He's also level 10. 
18 power points. Can he get it? Two more needed. He's doing it. Destroying the orphan. Move. Your ally acquires eight. Oh. Two more of powers in 30 seconds. And this guy refuses to use the cripple on any Gandalf. He's just out attacking them. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, there's always like a learning curve. But you need to always keep attention to your heroes. That's like the one thing you need to be getting good at as soon as possible. Crippling with Lourdes is clicking one button and then right clicking on your opponent. That's what you need to learn as soon as possible. Pressure. Offense is the best defense. Don't waste time camping. Attack, attack, attack. Group with your ally. Assist him. Or ask him what you are supposed to do if you are playing with a better player. And try to improve each game step by step. It will take you some time to learn. It will take you some time to improve. But if you are willing to improve, I bet that you can improve in like in like few weeks already, you know? Not, you will not get an expert in this game, but I'm pretty sure, certain that you can get to a medium good level in like two weeks if you play every day five, to, five games. Or even much more. Five games. Oh, there was a sneaky move actually. He wanted to use the uh, explosive mine. But the Isengard player will be defeated. Now the question we are all waiting for is will this player get the Balrog and will he use it? Oof, the trebuchet are marching forward, though. Take this area. Check this area. 17,000. This player is not very rich, though, because he was struggling all the time. 3.7 EOD is available. And this player is also not rich for whatever reason. Because he has no workers, probably all game long, on this lumber mill. He has only one worker running to Afghanistan and back to harvest one part of the tree, you always need to pay attention to your economical structures too. EOD. Ooh, he got it from losing stuff. He got it from losing stuff. I'm telling you, boys. He's choosing it. Well, he's using it. He's gonna use... I wish Double Gandalf used Double Lightning Sword there. Oh my god, do it. You have Double Gandalf, bro. Ooh. Hot, 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 hot. I must say... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. I take it. What a game, dude. What a game. Lots of mistakes. But usually these games with mistakes turn to be the most entertaining games, in my opinion. Look, these four eagles are coming in clutch. All Gondor is emptying against Isengard. <laughs> Double Gandalf, double War of Power. I mean, I believe this game deserves a heavy like. Maybe we can... Guys, can we get 300 likes on this video? I think we should get it. As we get to see War of Power BM here. Do it. A boom! What an ending. GG well played. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always... Stay beyond Sanders. Peace out, boys.